Welcome, comic book fans. We've got some big news from some faces that may be familiar to you, Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw. They're frequent collaborators known for comics like God Country, Thanos Wins, Guardians of the Galaxy, and more. But now they've got a new comic debuting at Image Comics called Crossover. To learn who is crossing over with what, we've got Donny and Jeff. What's up, guys? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, everybody. Nice to be here. Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for talking to us. You know, so, so my first question is, well, what the heck is crossover? Um, it's an interesting question. Um, it's uh, it's 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 hard to explain without giving too much away. Um, but the basic premise is, um, you know how we do these uh, huge big summer events at Marvel and DC where. You know, the worlds are exploding and all the superheroes are fighting each other. Or they've all, all been teleported off to a different planet. Well, uh, the premise of crossover is essentially what if one of those huge, big, uh, big two crossovers uh, got so big that it crossed over into our real world? In a world where everything that you used to think uh, was impossible uh, is, is real, well, then anything is possible and we and we follow um a, a gang of eccentric characters as they kind of get uh swept up into the grand conspiracy of just how the crossover happened and the grand ramifications of of said uh, crossover um and we follow them uh as they edge ever closer and closer to uh ground zero i was looking at the artwork and there are certain sort of like uh silhouettes and you know color schemes that sort of evoke familiar marvel dc uh, other kinds of, of characters we've seen in comics uh should we expect to to see some yep yeah, some of those familiar faces pop up i would expect to see um all sorts of crazy things in the world of crossover <laughs> um, i sense we're I not getting an I, answer there uh, <laughs> No, you're not. When the crossover um, happened itself, it happened over the skies of Colorado. And um, months and months and months into the fighting, after thousands and thousands of people are dead, uh, one superhero had the grand idea to put a big force field around it. And so we cut five years of the future and the force field still stands. I think I speak for Jeff in that um, is the least safe book we've ever done. Um, and it's the scariest book that we, we've ever done. Um, uh, well, yeah, well, well, Jeff, and, I was looking at some of your artwork and I will say, first of all, it looks incredible. Uh, but when the crossover happens, it looks like an atom bomb went off or something like this. This is not a fun adventure that, yeah, to, to your point, Donnie, it does look like horror. And, uh, you know, Jeff, what was it like for you kind of differentiating what the, the superhero comic book world looks like versus uh, reality. Well, uh, yeah, the, there's definitely a distinct difference. Um, and I don't want to give too much away about how we distinguish reality from the comic book world. But um, that in and of itself was a, was a steep challenge for the whole creative team to, yeah. to really figure out. And we had a lot of back and forth about just how we were going to tackle that. Um, and I think we nailed something really cool that I personally have never seen before. I don't think it's been done um, in a comic book for sure. Uh, but there is definitely a thematic, uh, and we and we you know we're still working on it. We haven't uh, I haven't gotten to really pull out all the guns yet. So there's going to be more challenges ahead. Uh, yeah. But there there's definitely a lot of language, visual language that um, I've had. You know, as an artist, I've been I've challenged myself a lot to uh, meet and match the challenges of the tone and the direction of this book. It's 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 pretty cool. The thing is, in crossover, legitimately, you're going to be seeing things that you've never seen be before in a comic book. We were going to have to kind of invent our own visual language um, to. To, to tell our own story. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, uh, working with D, uh, D Cuniff and John Hill 
on the book, um, uh, we've all kind of come together to try and find a way to make the book book read in su such a way that that makes sense um, and that is not too overwhelming because uh, 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 there's pieces of it that if not handled correctly uh, could certainly be. Um, it's terrifying. It's, it's, a, it's a crazy book. Um, it's a book that should not be. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious, um, you know, as a comic book reader, I uh, am, am very used to the comic book event cycle, right? It's like an annual thing we all know is coming. Uh, the, sometimes the events are great. You get like a civil war, but sometimes you get like uh, convergence. <laughs> uh, but regardless, <laughs> It, uh, it, 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 it consumes the publishing schedule. It goes on for months at a time. It always promises to change the universe. Um, and that's just talking about, you know, the, the comic itself, but it always has a huge impact on the comic book industry, the readers, the retailers. So I'm curious because you have a, a story where the, the, this crossover is intersecting with reality. Are you using it to make a meta commentary of any kind uh, of, of what uh, um. crossovers mean to us? Yes, um, which is weird because uh, when, when I first started thinking about the idea three years ago, I was not the guy who was writing all of the events. Um, and, and, and I know I, I just announced uh, The King in Black uh, uh, just like th three days ago or whatever. Um, but um, I think, I think uh, who better than me than, than, than to write a bit of a commentary on events, um, so it's so it's an ongoing title, and so there's so much uh, room to play. There's so many guest stars, um, if you will, um, uh, uh, to show up. It's definitely a book uh, that is worth your time. Um, it is definitely a book that is uh, worth showing up for every month just to see what Jeff Shaw and Donny Cates have gotten away way way with this time. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to see, but you know, our time uh, has come to an end. But before we go, uh, could you please let everyone know when they'll be able to read Crossover and where they can find you? You will be able to read Crossover in November, and you can follow me uh, on Twitter, at Don Cates, uh, and on Instagram, uh, uh, at D Cates. And uh, if you, uh, I'm most commonly found on Instagram at uh, G Shaw, uh, yeah, just G E Shaw. And I'm on Twitter, but uh, I wouldn't look for me over there. I'm not there but very not often. Really, but not really, but not really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much for giving us the details on Crossover. No worries, man.